in Johannesburg, dubbed the world's largest man-made forest, 42 infested trees are being removed to fight the spread of the polyphagous shothole borer beetle. Less than two millimeters in size, the insect carries a fungus that is killing trees at an alarming rate. It's been identified in all provinces except Limpopo. And in order to stop the spread, the Kruger National Park has set up these traps at rest camps, entrances and strategic points across the 2 million hectare conservation area. Why we use such a huge trap for a 2 millimeter beetle is we want to simulate a, a tree. So the beetles will be attracted to the, the attractant which, which hangs uh, in the middle of the trap. And as they fly in, the, the different veins will uh, confuse them and I'll have a miss landing falling all the way through to our collection bucket. There's nothing more South African than a good old fashioned braai. All you need is some meat, matches and firewood. But it's the wood itself that poses a risk. So far, the Kruger National Park has avoided infestation. We also put out a list of species that wood could be used in the park, specifically our indigenous species that may be used if certain criteria are met, and then invasive species that can be brought into the Kruger National Park. But when this beetle was discovered, uh, one of the species that we did allow was black wattle, and we've now taken that off the list. So we do not want uh, black wattle as a form of firewood being sold in the Kruger National Park. Guests will still be allowed to bring their own firewood to the park, but they're being urged to be mindful of what they're using. This will protect the trees that are so integral to the natural beauty here. Slindelo Masigan, Kruger National Park in Bumalang.